In the drowning events of World War II, there is a story that is rarely told. How families struggled to get their daily bread. In the midst of chaos and uncertainty, food became more than a necessity. For many families, it was a symbol of hope, strength and resilience. Today, we'll explore what's really on their dinner table. From food improvisation to unexpected innovations, let's discover the stories behind every mouthful taken by a surviving family. When Coca-Cola expanded its footprint to Germany in the 1930s, its popularity surged dramatically, with sales increasing from 100,000 cans per year to over 4 million by the end of the decade. The German branch became a significant historical milestone for the company. However, when the Allies imposed an embargo on Germany, the supply of Coca-Cola syrup from America ceased, leading to a crisis and production halt. In this urgent situation and cut off from the parent company in America, the head of Coca-Cola Deutschland, Max Keith, sought a creative solution. They utilized whey, apple fibers, and beet sugar to create an alternative beverage, which later became known as Fanta. The name Fanta originates from the German word of fantasy, depicting their innovative spirit. Despite challenging wartime conditions, Fanta managed to gain popularity, with 3 million packages sold in 1943. During the war, many bottles were not consumed as beverages but used as cooking ingredients to add sweetness to soups and stews, due to sugar rationing. The original German Fanta had a reddish-orange color from beet juice, and its taste evolved during the war, depending on available ingredients. Mayonnaise is a type of sauce made primarily from vegetable oil, chicken eggs, and vinegar. Like ketchup, mayonnaise was also highly popular on family dining tables. It was frequently used as a condiment for foods such as salads or sandwiches. During World War II, eggs became a highly scarce food item, strictly rationed. Each person would receive one egg per week or one packet of dried eggs every four weeks. Consequently, many recipes, including mayonnaise, had to be prepared without eggs. In the 1940s, the popularity of mayonnaise was comparable to today's appreciation. Hence, as egg supplies dwindled, it was not surprising that people began creating eggless mayonnaise. But how could they explore the deliciousness and smooth texture that distinguished mayonnaise from others? Although not entirely the same, potatoes could create a consistent sauce with some modifications. The content of oil and fat was essential. Some opted for vegetable oil if available, but national margarine, as a butter alternative, became a primary solution at that time. After achieving the right potato texture, elements like vinegar and mustard could alter the sauce's character while still showcasing distinctiveness compared to the original mayonnaise. During the wartime period, maintaining chickens as pets became a task that required extra attention. Most British citizens received a ration of only one egg per week as part of their food supply. Therefore, the government encouraged citizens to raise their own chickens. In this scenario, their egg ration was exchanged for chicken feed, allowing them to access chicken eggs without restrictions. However, the reality was that not everyone had the resources or time to manage their own chicken farms. To address this issue, the government provided a solution, powdered eggs. After America became involved in World War II, supplies of essential ingredients began to flow in larger quantities to Britain, including powdered eggs. One can of powdered eggs was equivalent to 12 fresh eggs. Although powdered eggs helped the country meet its food needs, many people complained about its taste and texture. Despite the government's efforts to educate the public about the advantages of powdered eggs, which could be equivalent to fresh eggs when mixed with water, the reality was different. The unique texture of powdered eggs made them less popular. As a result, people preferred to use them in baking cakes, puddings, or scrambled eggs. These foods can be stored for 5 to 10 years without oxygen in a cool storage environment. Amidst the limitations, the desire for sweet foods did not fade from people during the war. However, the challenge was that main ingredients like butter, eggs, and flour became scarce. As a solution, potatoes became a reliable alternative. The British government diligently promoted potatoes due to their ease of cultivation. A lot of information was disseminated to the public through brochures with various recipes, ranging from baked potatoes to potato-based cake creations. 
Potato-based cakes, often combining margarine, flour, potatoes, and salt, became a choice for many. For those lacking ingredients, simple recipes relying on flour, salt, potatoes, and fat were also available. It was important to enjoy these cakes promptly as they could become hard if reheated repeatedly.